happy to answer any questions you might have. Before the meeting starts, when they do Canada Day, uh, they've got an RF, RFP out for providing Canada Day or something? Uh, you know anything? About, is there an RFP out, Stephanie? Yeah, there is. We'll get to it at 7.2. Okay. <laughs> no, I had somebody ask me about it. They said, does the events committee do that? And I said, hell, I don't know. <laughs> I'm brand new. Is good to go, so we're good whenever, Marsha. Okay, so I'm going to call this meeting to order at 631. I am going to ask Sydney if you could lead the land acknowledgement, just out of respect. So uh, for the tribes, I can't say those names properly. So the city of Thorold is situated on treaty land. The land is steeped in the rich history of the First, Na First Nations, such as the Hadawadarong and the Haudenosaunee and the Anishinaabe, including the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. There are many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people from across Turtle Island that live and work in Niagara today. The city of Thorold stands with all Indigenous people, past and present, in promoting the wise stewardship of the lands in which we live. Thank you very much. Um, are there any declaration of interests? Okay, I don't see any. Perfect, okay. So there, can I get a mover and a seconder to adopt the agenda, please? I'll move it. Tony, oh, sorry. Seconder. I can second it. Carol? Yeah. Hello, okay. everyone. I couldn't get in. Sorry about that. I had the same problem, Nella. I had a I had I couldn't get in earlier either. Uh I called a question. Uh I called a question. All those in favor of adopting the agenda. All opposed. Perfect. So we're going to go on to number five. I call the question. Oh, I think I have to. Shouldn't I? Adoption of the minute, Cindy. Cindy, sorry. Um, call the question in favor of all those in favor. We don't need a motion for this. Oh, we would just need a mover and a seconder. Perfect. So we do. Okay. It was not on my paper, but I assumed it should have been. Okay. Can I get a mover, mover and seconder to adopt the minutes? Nella? Tony? Perfect. Um, I call the question. All those in favor? Opposed? Passes. Okay, so we are moving on to correspondence. Um, would somebody from the city like to take uh, this? Thank you. Through, through you, Madam Chair. Um, a member of the community reached out to us um, just wanting to let you guys know that the 200th anniversary of the official turning of the sod is coming up December 30th, 2024. So you put it on the agenda just so it can be on your radar in case the committee wanted to do anything with this. Do we have any details on what that is? I don't know what the turning of sod is. Does anyone else know, Tony? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> um, it, it was the turning of the sod for the first Welland Canal on uh, November 30th, 1924. Okay. Um, I, I'm not sure what you could do unless it was a celebration of the entire canal. Um, it was done right near where, uh, well, it was done right at the corner of uh, 20 on the, on the west side of the bridge, on, uh, on the south side at the, uh, of Highway 20. Um, there's a cairn there marking it, but, um. All they did was somewhere between 100 and 200 people came out, and the uh, and Merritt made a speech, 
And then they handed the shovel to the president of the of the Welland Canal Company, who was uh, George Kiefer. And uh, he stuck a shovel into the ground, and they all cheered and everything. And then uh, Kiefer and the members of the board and local politicians all went over to the Black Horse Tavern and had supper and drank until, until the wee hours of the morning. So um, there, there's not much of a reenactment to it unless you want to go reenact the drinking. <laughs> uh, Sydney, should we reach out to the other cities to see if they're doing anything that we would work with that? Or at least respond back to that person that there is something going on to celebrate that? Or we can definitely do that for you. Or if you would like, we can send you the contact information, whatever you'd prefer. I'm open. I just, you know, that way it doesn't just fall off this agenda. It's something that way we actually have an answer. Oh, sorry, Tony. Might I, might I suggest that while you're doing that, that that uh, maybe they should consider some kind of uh, a, a, a canal a canal wide uh, celebration of of the first well and canal um so that's what know, i was thinking maybe st catherine's thorough well in port colburn uh, yep. um may, maybe between all of us we could get we could get things going along the line at different times uh, yep. um turn it into something yep nella um yeah so I know who the contact is. The mayor reached out to me if I would um, contact him. Um, I just haven't had an opportunity, but I can reach out to him to see what his expectations are of this anniversary and get back to everyone. It'd just be a shame if other people are planning it. We didn't get the invite or we didn't know, right? And be like, oh, we would have came if we knew you were hosting something. I yeah. mean, we, we can reenact the shovel, the, the turning of the sod itself. Um, if the mayor wants to stand there with a shovel on November the 30th, you know, it could, could, but it, could it, 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 is, it is over a year away. So, yeah, um, but I'll reach out to John to see what uh, uh, he, you know, what, what he wants the city to do. Okay. 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 Perfect. Okay, so we'll move on to the next one, which is number seven, the work plan. So everyone should have got it. It was uh, page five and page six of the email that was sent out. Um, is there anything that anyone would like to add to the work plan that we could work with? So I see we have three things right now. I didn't know if anyone had anything else they'd like to <coughs> I think that's probably a fair bit, actually. Yep. So everyone's good with that for right now. And we'll uh, see, do we need to develop this any more as of today? Or is that good for what is expected of us as a committee right now? Uh, through you, it is up to you. If you would like, we could continue developing it. Or if you're comfortable leaving it as is for now, we can also do that. Okay. Uh, my, what would everyone like to do? Might, might I suggest that maybe we should have on here that there's there's really no mention of all the other events that are going on in the city. Uh, oh, by the, by the way, before I forget, uh, it, it should be mentioned that November the 30th is the day of the Santa Claus parade. <laughs> in 2024? Yeah, it's always the last Saturday of the month. I think he meant this year. Oh, yeah, but that, yeah. No, no, it, next, next year, next year, because it's 2024. Oh, next year, okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I just want to point that out. Um, if they want to have it on the fourth Saturday instead, the, like the, the parade or whatever, I don't know. But. We'll have a float with someone putting their foot in sod. <laughs> How do you make that Christmassy? <laughs> I can do that. Okay. Um, anybody else want to add anything to our work plan? I I'm sure we can come back to it after, correct? Okay. Okay. Then let's move on to the next one. 
uh, which is Stephanie. <laughs> I see those eyes. Uh, so it's uh, the draft work plan was attached to the agenda. We did that one. Any discussion on future events? Yeah, so, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice. Um, I would I would defer to you guys to lead this part of the discussion in terms of what you're looking for. Um, I can certainly outline what some other municipalities do and what we currently offer. Um, but in terms of anything as far as future planning goes, we would definitely look to um, this committee for any kind of guidance. Um, there's nothing currently in the works other than what's currently um, on the agenda for today, which includes Canada Day, uh, Rock and Blues on the Battlefield, um, Earth Day, uh, Farmer's Market, and then a community cleanup and the Santa Claus Parade. Um, so there's nothing else specifically um, that we're working on right now other than those events for this year. Does anyone have any other events that we should, you would, like to see explore pushed or uh, that's not the right word um but any other events that anyone's looking at nella oh no it's not an event but i was speaking with stephanie about looking into um perhaps starting to contact people for the santa claus parade i know last year was a little bit late so we didn't have as many uh, participants in it um last year although it was extremely successful so I know that Tony uh, was involved with the Santa Claus parade years ago. I'm not sure, Marsha, if you were part of helping Sebastian and Tanya. I've reached out to her, but I can't get a hold of her. So um, perhaps maybe Stephanie, because you worked with her, you might be able to coerce her into helping you out and getting some volunteers to help us. So <clears throat> who's still on there with Sebastian? They, there is no committee. The, the committee is disbanding. Uh, okay. It's a city event now. Yeah. Okay. So what I can do is I can start to put the, so last year, um, as Councillor Decker uh, mentioned, um, it was a little bit uh, late in the game when we were uh, contacting uh, potential participants. Um, so what I can do is I can essentially get what we had set up last year, now that the city has run it once before, <laughs> um, and put those applications out online. And then if you guys could support by spreading the word and getting people to register, I know nobody really wants to think about Christmas in March, but um, if you guys could support by getting the word out, we could get some of those applications early on and then also reach out to those um, vendors that we, uh, well, I can reach out to those vendors that we uh, hired to perform as well um, and, and get them secured for next year as well. Um, but we can definitely continue those discussions in future meetings. Should, should revive uh, what we used to do in the 15 years that I ran it. We, at the, at the, uh, at the parade itself, we handed out the the, uh, the registration forms for the following year and invited the bands back as well when we gave them their paycheck. We can definitely send something out. Um, generally, we like to review the forms uh, after each event just to make sure there's nothing, there's no new requirements for the following years. For the, sorry, for the following year. <laughs> um, but we can definitely, um, at this point, reach out to all the groups that we had last year. Uh, Steph, do we have any uh, movie nights or any of the physical activity events that you had done last year? I remember we kind of covered those last year on this committee. Yeah, so we had the fitness in the park offered, I think it was the year prior or maybe even the year before that during COVID when we didn't have many um, services being offered. Um, so that was kind of something we offered during COVID. Um, we didn't do it last summer, um, but we do have the movie in the park um, that's being discussed right now by the Age Friendly Committee, because previously they were the ones who took the lead on that um, and then asked, uh, essentially they budgeted for it and then we ran it through their committee. So that request should be coming at to this committee next meeting. 
So they're just finalizing their budget and then it should come through to this committee next meeting. Perfect, okay. Any other future events? I know I will have some, but it won't be till April when the BIA board is chosen. And I'll bring a whole stack, but till then, I don't have any right now that I, and anybody else? I could bring well, I in the library to... ones when it gets that far. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if there was any plans to um, utilize the theater at Beaver Dams, the amphitheater, more. Um, we don't have anything other than our current uh, event plans, uh, Canada Day and uh, Rock and Blues on the Battlefield. Uh, we do, through our community grants program, uh, normally fund um, Thorold Reed Band, who performs there on Wednesday nights in the summer. Um, and then we're looking at the possibility of utilizing it in some capacity, perhaps during the farmer's market, but that's yet to be determined. Um, but that is a possibility as well. Um, so if that was another event or another um, item that you guys wanted to consider beyond that, then that would be something you guys could discuss in this committee. Okay. okay. Well, let's move on to Canada Day since we're kind of segued right in there. Uh, would you like to speak on Canada Day stuff and how we can help? Yeah, so the process is gonna be a little different this year. Um, as uh, Tony mentioned, uh, there is going to be, uh, there is currently an RFP out, which I believe closes, don't quote me, but on the 15th. So council did approve um, additional budget for this year for us to hire uh, an event uh, company to come and help support and manage the event. Um, so once that closes, uh, we'll go through that process and bring uh, the applicants to council for final approval. Um, but essentially everything's gonna flow through that group administratively. Um, so I think right now, I guess is what I'm saying is we can have some very high level discussions about what you guys wanna see at the event this year. Um, luckily it falls on the weekend. So Canada Day is actually on the Saturday, which means we can do rock and blues on the battlefield on the Sunday. So that works out very nicely. Um, so if you guys wanna talk about expectations in terms of you know if you have any suggestions for entertainment um, as far as uh, children's entertainers go or anything like that, those are things that we can still discuss and plan at this level. And then once we bring that event management company on, we'll incorporate them into the conversation to essentially <coughs> guide it in future meetings. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at. <laughs> Does anybody have any must haves or like to seize, Tony? I'd, I'd like to see the citizenship ceremony there again. I remember that. I've done a few a few of those in town now as a town crier. And, uh, it's been a few years since we've done that. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah five, six. Well, they, they, they won't do it in the same town every year, in the same town there, you know, every year. Um, but uh, it wouldn't hurt to give let them know that you, if you want to do it. Um, because they, they tend to move it around. Who is it that offers it? Sorry, Tony. Pardon? Who is it that runs it? Well, it's the Citizenship Court. Citizenship Court, okay. Out of Hamilton, actually. Yeah. Anybody else have some comments on candidates' wishes, wish list they'd like to see to make it a better event? I do have one that maybe we could try and source some local vendors. Um, Cause I always do hear that as a business owner, I do hear that, you know, I wasn't given the opportunity or asked. Um, even if it's just put out to the public, if it's on our social media maybe, or something like that um, and made aware to all the groups and that we can share it as, you know, other groups, whether it's a library or whether it's uh, Port Dalhousie or something like that. Yep. Nella? Um, I know that we've asked the local vendors to participate, but we haven't had any response from them. So maybe um, we can draft up some type of letter and maybe at your BIA meeting or they can get dropped off downtown, like to some of the restaurants or 
some of the local restaurants to see if they would like to come and participate and uh, serve some food out at the park that weekend and stuff. I know that um, Moose and Goose did the bar last year. Yep. Uh, so, I mean, obviously I, I, I like to promote local, you know, vendors. I mean, even the pizza shop would be great. I don't know if you guys can do that out there, but. We've done it every year. We never got asked, so. <laughs> well, I don't think it's a matter of being asked. It's if you want to participate, then we want you to put your name forward. That's what we asked for last year. And yeah, and that never I happened. I don't think it was made known. I, I can honestly say like from what, you know what I mean? It was kind of, we didn't kind of make it official. We were kind of, we kind of talked about it, but I don't think it was actually made out to the public and not even just BIA, but there's such a bigger, broader, like whether it's still yeah. south. Like the bagel place might want to come. Like yeah, I think exactly. we have really great places in all of Port Robinson, Allenburg, that you know maybe yeah, so we, we got to be getting those the word out, Getting, I guess it's getting the word out, whether it's yep. social media or on the city's website. Perhaps when we're starting to advertise for Canada Day, we can throw yep. it out there to see if anybody wants to provide food. Um, you know. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. At least you can ask, and they can't say anything once it's out there. Right. Anybody else? Fireworks. Are we allowed those still? Yes, we do have fireworks all set up. <laughs> same same vendor that we've used previous years. He's already recruited. Well, with insurances, you never know anymore. They they still insure it, luckily. So <laughs> I mean they're getting harder and tighter now. So it's it's hard to know what you're allowed nowadays. It's true. But we were really great. I think last year we had a really good setup in terms of safety because uh, we actually had those that fence up, which I know um, wasn't necessarily liked at the at, when we had to close the gates down um, if you didn't show up at the appropriate time. So maybe this year we can do a better job about getting the word out about showing up at you know a minimum amount of time before the fireworks start, so you can get a place to sit down. The other thing that I think was really successful last year is we actually um, got a permit for Prince of Wales School so that people could technically, I know they used to use that field anyways to watch fireworks, but we actually had permission last year. So nice. I think if we could also maybe uh, get the word out that people can also um, enjoy the fireworks from there as well this year, once we get that permit, um, <laughs> that might be another thing to make it a little bit more enjoyable. Okay. Any other discussion on candidate before we move on to the next one? Is it just the Saturday and the Sunday or are you doing three days or two days, I guess? Oh, now let's get the hands up too. The Saturday. Two days? Only two days were approved. So two days. Oh, later. okay. There we go. Okay. So let's move on to, oh, sorry, Tony. I just wanted to ask is, is Bob Ludicote still involved? Uh, I know he helped out uh, with uh, the battle on the of uh, the blues festival because we had the tribute to Tim Sinnott. Uh, yeah. Whether he's going to help out this year, it's you know whether he he's approached or he wants to help. I don't I don't know. Yeah, I I'm not sure. I, he's still in Florida, so I, I don't. Yeah. Know. Uh, Steph, is the RFP including that day, the Sunday, or is the RFP only for Saturday, if you don't mind me asking? The RFP includes both. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So it, it's so he the, might be inclined to help because he's not running the whole thing. The entire event, yeah. He might be, uh, he, he's such passionate about that and he's so good at it. Okay, so let's move on to Earth Day. Steph? Um, so we're going to have, uh, we, we're still ironing out the details. We're going to meet with uh, the library um, as well as uh, Megan, who's our uh, communication specialist to get the word out. But what we're planning for right now is to have a community cleanup day on Earth Day, which is April 22nd. So that's a Saturday. So we're going to select uh, four or five parks throughout the municipality. Um, and we're going to have an identified time where people can come and help clean. We'll bring all of the equipment. We're going to have little pickers and um, 
uh, vests and whatnot. Um, and then we'll also be able to do a safety demonstration there um, at the beginning of the event. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at right now. If anybody has any other feedback or suggestions for the cleanup, um, we're hoping to have the information and marketing out um, probably sometime next week. Um, but yeah, and or any suggestions for parks as well. Um, keeping in mind, we are going to have a second cleanup day in the fall as well. So what we don't hit this time, we can do the next cleanup. Tony? Um, I don't know if you're aware, but the uh, the one th the one Thorold uh, um, reconciliation committee um, is putting on an event at, at, on Earth Day at Mel Swart Lake Gibson Conservation Area. It's going to be the official opening of the of the garden out there, and. Uh, they're going to have indigenous entertainment all day long, uh, music, dances, uh, um, well, a, a number of things. Um, but there will be stuff going on there all day that day. Nice. Um, so you might want to work with them somehow to do that. Fred Fred Neal is uh, is in charge of that. Perfect. Okay. And uh, Steph, just so you know, the principal at the new principal at Thorold High is actually a Thorold girl. It is um, a Janice Sargent and the DM principal is actually another Thorold boy, which is Kevin Timmons. Um, so for volunteers, if you want to share that with them, they will definitely post it and uh, definitely share it. They've been wonderful in the last like two months. It's been awesome they're they're really all about thorold and it's been really nice so they'll definitely partner with you on anything you need and i can give you their contacts if you need it directly yeah great i'll definitely uh reach out to them i do think i have the contacts i think we just because the thorold high principal is relatively new right yeah jen's yeah. Take okay. open class, uh, this <laughs> yeah. term but okay, she perfect. is a huge thorold advocate huge okay yeah we'll reach out to because we're planning on doing a lot with them for the BIA. So um, that's awesome. Any other discussion on Earth Day? Yep. I'm going to, I apologize. How do you say the name? Is it Putula? I, I apologize. Oh, just, just say Linda. Um, <laughs> okay. I can't, I can't pronounce it either. I married into the name. So I'm so sorry. I've been good. like Don't apologize. over that the whole time. Because I was like, oh no, I'm just going to have to ask. So I'm good. Old, I put your names. Yes, just, Linda. I just wanted to inquire, has the uh, environmental um, committee reached out to any of us about what they're planning to do on Earth Day, if anything? Does anyone know? I haven't heard anything. I don't know if Sydney would know. I also haven't heard anything um, about that from them. Okay. I just didn't know if we... So they're responsible to reach out to us? or should we reach out to them? So if any of the committees want to uh, propose an event uh, for the city to lead, um, it would be for them to submit the request and then it would come to this committee. So I'm not sure if, if, there's, if there is a correspondence um, required in this case, since we're already doing Earth Day, um, but I'm not sure, Sydney, would you have any recommendation on that? Um, I would just say if you would like the environmental um, committee's input on this, we can also put it on the environmental's agenda for their next meeting to see um, if they would like to get involved with their thoughts on it, anything like that. That's probably a good meeting, idea. Yeah. I believe their next meeting is March 31st. Awesome. Okay. Any other talk on Earth Day? Awesome. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next one, which is the farmer's market. I'm excited, <laughs> Steph. I'm here to help you the whole way. So um, we, and I don't know how to pronounce her name, so now I'm very, I feel really bad. Um, Renee from Small Scale Farms. I don't know her last name off the top of my head, um, but she's offered to help support as a volunteer. Um, so definitely out of this group, if we wanted to form a working group um, to 
uh, get this event off the ground, we can, and she's definitely here to support. Um, right now, we've had just very preliminary conversations. Nothing has been 100% decided at this point, um, but we were thinking, um, well, it was suggested perhaps Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, because it would support the downtown business, get some people in. They could go to downtown businesses for lunch, possibly. Um, and then we could also make use of that park during the day, maybe have some different types of entertainment at the band shell to complement the farmer's market. So again, it's very preliminary discussions. <laughs> Nothing's been determined at this time. So any kind of feedback from the committee would be greatly appreciated. Tony? Um, this is going to be in Battle of Beaver Dams Park, right? Yes, correct. Sorry. In, in the parking lot? Um, it would be throughout the park. Um, so we do have a couple of different options uh, just based on where, uh, what different vendors might need versus where hydro is located. So it would probably be kind of scattered throughout the park. Um, we will create a map based on um, how many applicants we get. But again, uh, we're not quite at that stage yet, but it would be throughout the park. Entertainment would be good. That's gone over really well in Fond Hill. They, there's, they have theirs on Thursday evenings, and they always have a band. Uh, they close their main street there, and they always have a band. And uh, that's always it's always packed up there on, on Thursday nights during the summer. Carol, oh, I thought you had. I thought you were going to say something. I apologize. No, I was looking up Renee's last name, but. Um... Yeah, she's done an incredible job with that small scale farms. Oh, so good. And what she's done for, uh, um, what's the mark? What's, what did she buy? The market by the hospital. What, what's it called? Oh, Harvest yeah, Barn. Or Harvest Barn or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she's, uh, it's amazing what she's done. Yeah. I'm happy to join a group. You know that stuff. I've, I've been pushing for this for a very long, long time. So I'm excited to have it. And um, I do think we should reach out to uh, Carrie Cottage. She organized the farmer's market uh, maybe six years ago. I think, Nella, would you say it's that long? Yeah, she's the one that had it sort of in between her house and another house. Yeah, she was trying to get it going. So she has a big passion for this kind of thing. Yeah, I do know that Councillor um, O'Hare is really working on uh, getting this market um, up and running. Awesome. So, uh, and I know that I think he's met with uh, with Renee. Uh, so, you know, perhaps maybe he can fill us in on what their conversations are. I know we did discuss perhaps doing the market during the week, uh, maybe later afternoon into the early evening so that we could utilize the band shell and maybe get some local bands that might want to come out and play and have their music heard. So um, yeah, so it'll be, I, I guess what Renee wants, right? And whoever, like what type, like if she wants other people to, you know, yeah. I, I don't want to step on her toes. So I don't know what conversations they've had. So maybe we can get some feedback from her and uh, Tim O'Hare. Can we invite them maybe to the next meeting? Is that possible? Or at least Tim, if she's not available? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we could. Sure. Yeah, we did meet with Renee. And so from that conversation, that's where the Saturday afternoon came from. Um, but we can definitely um, meet with her because she has a lot of great ideas that probably I'm not articulating as well as she could, <laughs> um, that she could bring to the next meeting for sure. And then as far as a working group goes, Sydney, how do we start a working group if we wanted to have uh, members from this committee volunteer to help plan the event? Sure. So we would just need a motion to create a working group. And basically in the motion, it would just have to specify what the working group would be used for and the approximate time the working group would be in effect. Um, and then we just have to be careful when we have working groups. So they shouldn't have a quorum. They should be less than the quorum of the committee just to make sure that there's no closed meetings going on. But we would just need a motion to have one started. I'll make the motion. <clears throat> And do we have a seconder 
Sydney, are you going to write the motion or is Tony going to say it? What would you guys like? Make a motion that we form a working group uh, to to uh, to look into the establishment of a farmer's market in Thorold. And we have a seconder. I can second it. Any discussion? I do have a question. How do the working groups, uh, how does a working group get chosen or how is it posted? I do, just asking, sorry. I believe it would be up to the committee. You guys can decide who would be on the working group. Working groups are a lot less formal, so they don't have any staff support in them. So someone would just have to take the minutes and then report back to this general committee. Okay. Can it be people from outside this group though? I will have to confirm with Matthew on that one and then I can send you an email and let you know. Thank you. Okay, all those in favor? So passed. Thank you, thank you. Any other discussion on the farmer's market? Oh, what is the date that you're tentatively looking at stuff? I don't have that written. Um, it would be from June, so the first weekend in June um, to uh, Labor Day weekends, uh, with the exception of uh, Canada Day, which we could probably incorporate something into it, but it would have to, um, we would have to just look at that and how that would work. Okay. Yeah. Okay, anybody else discussion on farmer's market? Okay, so we're going to move on to the next one, which is 7.5, which is the senior wards. Everyone should have received a packet. Uh, it was pages seven and nine in our email. Um, if someone would like to speak on this one. Sure, so for this one, we are just putting it on the agenda again, so the committee is aware of it. They are not looking for approval just due to the timeline of this one. They do have their applications open, and the age-friendly committee has taken care of most of the planning and advertising for the event. But we did just want to let this committee know that this event will be going on in the world. Awesome. Okay, so we don't really need discussion on this one then? <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay, so we are going to move around to a roundtable discussion where everybody can add anything they'd like to. I'm going to start at the top corner for me. So that's Tony. I've got nothing. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Linda, I'm going next because you said nothing. I'm moving on. Linda? I have nothing as well. Uh, Carol? I don't have anything. I was, but I did have a question though. Are we going to be getting any more members for this committee? Do you know? Yeah. Sydney, go. So we do have applications open and we have received applications for it. And okay. I believe it will be brought to the council meeting in March um, for people to be appointed. Oh, okay. Good. Nella, do you have anything? Believe it or not, I don't. Nice. Steph, anything? I only see the six of you. I know Jeff's here. Jeff, do you have anything? Uh, no, you thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, other than just to thank everybody for their help and their and their support um, from the staff point of view, we really appreciate this, um, your guidance and your advice here. And I do not till next month, so I am good too. So with that being said, um, we are going to move on to the next meeting, which is scheduled for April 4th at 630. Is that still good for everybody? April 4th, 630? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Being there's no further business.